I guess so. We're back with puppy school. So we've had a little unexpected. If you said unexpected, not really. But Mick uh, just texted me. Vicky won't let him get the puppy. So now the puppy is available. Ah! If he said, "What did I say?" I said, "Oh my God." If he said, "Are you shot?" It, it's happened like five times before. I don't know why I thought it wasn't going to happen this time. Oh yeah, they were supposed to come pick it up in like two hours. He just texted me. Vicky just bombarded him with all these concerns. Oh, hi, Henrique. That's him calling now. Uh, anyway, I just... If you said, well, you call these people and you tell them to get a... No, I don't. I don't call anybody. I don't even answer my phone. I'm like the opposite of people when they hear a phone ring. When I hear a phone ring, I start tensing up. And I don't answer it. It's fine. I could never be mad at him. I'm just... I am kind of surprised. All right, Henry. Let me just text him. Whoops. Okay. All right, so, anyway, uh, so there's only four of them now. Now there's only going to be one, so I'll just keep training it. Of course, he thinks someone else is going to get him. I could, I, anybody else I'd be mad at, but I've known these guys for like 25 years. Anybody else I'd be mad at, I swear I can't even be mad at you. There are certain people. Nothing they really do you can upset me. All right, so I'm just going to get them in. So I'm not bending down. I'm not getting my hands all over them. It's going to be easier to do this now than when we got the floor. Alright, so he said, what do you need? Oh, you got peanuts. Alright, first let's see what we can get them. Oh, you precious peanuts. So you're not moving your hands around. Once you start waving your hands around, I need to get rid of this tray real quick. Let me just see what we You really need a bucket at this point because they'll kind of, this one's going to go down much. So, I hope you're watching the rain. This one's fixing to do it too. Carolyn, look. They kind of wink at you before they do it. I still haven't gotten a shower. I'm going to do that now. My schedule's freed up now that Nick isn't coming over. I just feel bad for Ben. He's the sweetest boy. I'm, I'm, I am kind of mad at them for doing that to Ben. I, I really am. He's the sweetest kid, and then to tell him we're coming to pick up the puppy, and then now say we can't get it. It's too mean. It's too mean. Oh, God. It's, it's, if you said, well, what I want to do is be able to speak with micro movements, I'd say you're on the right track, because that's how they speak. Anyway, Carolina, listen to me. What I want you to do is get this puppy home, and when it gets to be about five months, get the pet transport to drive it down here and get the school, get the collar, and either come pick it up or you could come pick it up. That way you wouldn't have to drive both ways. And then get the trained with the collar, like the other ones were. And I'm gonna go find those other videos too. All right, watch. The exhale is kind of through your nose. If you said, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. Look, Chester's get, oh, Chester's, Chester's patient. That's how they do it. They don't exhale through their mouth. That's your tail right there. She's too All right, so that's the one that's available, the medium one. Chester was the small, they were, honestly, the size was very minimal difference. Just some, this one's a little taller. Chester even does the chin dance. I'm so glad I met you, Christine. I really am. I don't want to upset you. I do want you to tell that story of what happened with that dog. Remember when we first met? Even if he wouldn't have bought a dog for me, 
I can constantly, you know, if you're training dogs, you need to be a scientist and understand why things happen so that you don't continually fall victim to a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> a lot of these series of unfortunate events are, the people of, are the agent of them. All right, so watch this one. You're just... You see, the key is saying, I see you without looking at me. Too. I never did this before, Mike. I hope you're there. I never did the default down on them before. Well, I did with the older ones. I did. I did with the older ones because that's how it, it initially started where your hands were kind of like this. You were seated and your hands were like that. Remember, your hand was in the lap. That's when I first got to climb. But I think it is more if you're trying to speak it because if your hands were here, if you went to here, That it's a coincidence. I know, but that many coincidences. <laughs> and even from here, I can go back a little bit. They're, they're looking for micro gestures. He said, no, they're not. They're looking for big, grandiose gestures. And the best dog trainers are na ex Navy flagmen. <laughs> Losing my mind, Mike. I'm losing my mind. Who knows what'll happen? Who knows what'll happen? I'll still be wearing the same Bouncing Souls sweatshirt hoodie 10 years from now. <laughs> Crazier than ever. Internet diagnosed. Anyway, I've learned a lot about this narcissism and the crazy LOL and all that, what that is. I have. I, I, you can get free psycho. You don't need to pay to see a psychiatrist. They give you free advice on... That one's got the chin down, too. They'll give you, let's see if he puts the chin down. You little chisty. You teeny chisty. So if he said, are you looking for that? You're looking to say to the dog, oh, I see every move you make. You're, I'm very, if you said you're like Raggedy Ann, really like Raggedy Ann, but clearly no intention, clearly physiologically at rest, not physiologically frenetic, where my hands, little, little, little movements, little, little jerky, little Tourette's type of situation. I hope nobody out there has Tourette's, but it, it you know, I thought they could probably adapt, but... Tails through the nose. Listen, you little paper eater. So what's the correction? There's no correction. Sorry, I want this one. If you said, what do I like about it? It's, it's actually knuckling over. It's actually knuckling over to lay down. I should have gone live on um, my too. Okay, so if you said, now what? Were you if you said, why are they sneezing and all? Because I had to put bleach. It must have been too strong. So obviously they know the noise. How could they not? 
so I do. I really like these watches. I've got, I've got some for you, Christine. If you said, but eventually you're gonna get rid of them. I mean, you know, like even honestly, I, I, I probably would get rid of them soon because they'll get bigger and it'll be, it'll be disproportionately small. Yeah, and I think that's what you have to think of in dog training. There are, you have to avoid, it, it's, it's honestly what I see people doing. It's almost a disproportionate bias towards failure. If you said, what does that mean? You're never going to get success. It's, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's just... It's terrible, it, it is. It's so hard to get people to understand, get that whole thing in motion. You're not gonna just stand there and say, you know. All right, so, if you said, what can I do? If I wanna present it as a completely dead object, and I just present the tray with the object in it, I didn't drop it in there. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's yours, Carolina. The sister's gone. She emerges as a star. The sister's overshadowed everyone. Anyway, Sandy, I hope you're there. Or you might, own, I don't know if her friend's on here. Anyway, I love you guys. You remind me of my parents. They were able to figure out Apple Pay because of me. <laughs> desperately, desperately. <laughs> precious, precious angels. If you said you want them doing it laying down now, you really don't. This one that's standing up has a better advantage. Uh, he put it right in my hand. Anyway, uh, Kendallin, if you're there, girl, I just love you, girl. I, I know how people are. They just feel like they just want to go and do it. And it's, it's not as easy as it looks. It's really not. Doing two at once. You said, are you good at anything else, Kelly? No. <laughs> Nothing. I can't do anything at all. I can't make little clay statues. I can't do that. <laughs> if you said, what about anything else? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> what about sports? Oh, definitely not. Parents <laughs> can tell you that. I was good at riding the horse, though. Nothing God for that. If, if I hadn't done that, I would have just been a completely crushed soul. <laughs> but as far as like sports, any kind, even the easiest sports, I was terrible. I didn't believe I could do it, and so I couldn't. You said what, like, like serious sports? No, like putt-putt golf and bowling. That's the kind of things we did as a family. I realized we were the average American nuclear family. We went bowling, we played putt-putt golf. We went to the movies, you know. My mom cooked dinner every night out of Betty Crocker cookbook. I swear to God, she's a gourmet cook now. Yeah. Last time they came and visited, she made me all this food to la that lasted me like a month. I swear. right into his mouth. But this one got it. This one had the advantage because it was standing up. I mean, oh my gosh, I was so tired. Just the walking them back and forth. I wish I would have had a Fitbit on. Thank God I'd work out. I wouldn't have been able to do it. And then walking them back and forth in doctor, into Dr. Castro's. If you say, oh, get over yourself. And then one of them went missing. That's where my really, that really tapped me out. Buttercrunch fell asleep in the bushes. It was just gone. I couldn't see him anywhere. And so what did I do? As quickly as possible, I got the other ones put up and launched a massive search party. If you said how, I got the pan and started banging it, looking all over in the bushes, seeing nothing. And I turned around and he had woke up and was sitting up looking at me. 
he blended in. You saw how it's kind of out there, that brown grass. Yeah, he just fell asleep. If he said, what would have happened? Well, he would have woke up and been very upset, probably. I just couldn't understand it. I was like, what, did a raccoon get him? I didn't know what happened. I was in a complete panic. I was already completely exhausted. And then that just completely tapped me out. You know, there is such a thing as you just go into sugar shock. I highly recommend working out. I mean, uh, it took everything I had to get these back in here without completely panicking. Grabbing Briggy, Casper, Oliver, Shoe Bottom, the pan, and running out there. I, I wasn't seeing anything. I mean, I'm, I was going into the bushes. You know, did it wander back through these rabbit holes, you know, in these bushes? Bang in the pan, and then I just turned around, I was just kind of sitting there. Ah. You're definitely triggered by the noise. You little tail wagging cutie. Anyway, Carolina, you need to get that plan. We can't have things go south like they did with Odie and Oki. They're just, they're too big. You guys see these big males I have. Do you think I let them just, I don't. I tell them, if they're starting to get too exhausted, don't. Stand down, don't bring that stuff around here. So they're watching very closely. They're watching everything I'm doing. Very fluid though. You're not real fast moving. You're not making a lot of. And I'm very aware of motion. If you said you want them looking at your eyes, you do. If you said I, don't, I can't communicate with my eyes, I'm very. De I'm, everyone says I'm very dead in the eyes. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> You're constantly told, you've got very dead eyes. You're not going to be any good at this. <laughs> if you said, what about glasses? I do have sunglasses on in a lot of my videos. If you said, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? I'm just being more aligned on the pager. I'm just trying to be like Joe Cool. I <laughs> have sunglasses probably. Probably. <laughs> Chester went to bed. <laughs> if you said, what do you want them to say to themselves? This thing, entity, whatever it is, provides limitless opportunities for, limitless, limitless opportunities for success. If you said, well, how are you gonna get them under control? Gonna use indirect pressure with the neck later when the dog is far away from you. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to explain it to people. If you said no, I like to do it right by me. <laughs> that isn't gonna work. That's why that big black German Shepherd that was eight years old that never had been off leash could never be off leash. If you say, it hit the edge of the atmosphere more than once. If you said, what's out there? What's in outer space? Klingons! Klingons. I don't write this shit. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'm gonna jump in the shower and Nick wants me to call him. If he said he's going to call him, no. <laughs> if Nick is saying this, he's like, uh oh. I don't want to death. I did it. I just didn't see this coming. You know, he was like kind of asking me about him before. And then he just said, said like, sold, LOL. So if he said, did you mark it sold? No. And if he said, then what? Then I had somebody kind of like trying to get me to jump through hoops. 
all this stuff and I they didn't put down a deposit and then Mick called and said, Oh, what about puppy? I was like, Oh my god, that's a big rod you freaking gold me. <laughs> you know, I was just getting ready, you know. I probably gotta push that guy. But anyway, so then he put the deposit because I made him do it because I know how he is. Figuring he's not gonna put the deposit if he's not serious. <sighs> He said he's demanding, my dad is even demanding his deposit back, to be honest with you. Yeah. If I had to guess, no, he's not concerned at all about his deposit. Give me one precious. Okay, Michael. Oh, hi, Christine. Listen, Christine, that the boy, other boy is available now. If you know anyone, if that person, or maybe that was somebody else that was thinking of one. Yeah, these people are, I've known them for, I trained their first dog. I mean, honestly, it would have been back in the 90s. It was back in the 90s. It was back when, I don't even think, I don't even think Ben was even born. John Michael was a baby. John Michael's 21 now, or 22, so 22 years ago. And then they bought a dog from me, Baylor. And then Baylor started to get old, so they bought Bear. And then Baylor died. I, I'm going to tell him that guy, how do you still have Bear? Oh, Bear's amazing. Um, but they wanted a yellow one now, because Bear's a black lab. I know, very original name. <laughs> a black lab named Bear, what? <laughs> we never heard of that. <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen. I just feel bad for Ben because Ben is the sweetest kid. Uh, I guess they still have Bear, so anyway. I don't know, I don't even know why they wanted one. I don't. If you said you called him and said, I don't call anybody. Call anybody. If anybody ever said, oh, you could hook me. The CIA could. Do you ever call, call anybody? I don't call people. Barely. Jesus. I don't even answer my phone. <laughs> I can't. I've learned if I'm outside walking around, trying to walk dogs, talk on the phone, I'm distracted and they do something. So I, just, I can't do it. I just can't do it. They see that I'm distracted and they pull stunts. <laughs> you said just like kids? For sure. <laughs> you do it. So cute. You know, if they're already, you know, sort of have this genetic kind of gentle soul, which they do, I can put Shoe Bottom out there with Rocky and Misty, and she'll beat both of them up. If you said, what will they do? Fight back? No. No. They have no intention of fighting back. Their strategy is just duck down until the threat goes away. And if it beats you up, just take it. It can't be that bad, and then just go on with your life. <laughs> That's how they are, I swear to God. She's awful. She beats both of them up. Are doing nothing but getting information from your body language, then the first impression is going to be how you act. It's going to be your body language. So remember, they know the tapping. You know, but you're not just doing it to death. They don't think of the tapping. They just think of the tapping in their mind. That's something that occurs before something else. That's not, oh, you better do something, anything like that. <laughs> if you 
You said you want it to become a reflex. I think you do. <laughs> you don't want it to not be a reflex. If you said no, I want it to be something that intellectually they have to force themselves to do. Oh my God. So, no, you don't. <laughs> This is yours, Carolina. You should all get this little tray like this. Carolina's like, I'm oh, ordering it now. <laughs> if Kendallin's there, she's like, I've already got it. <laughs> Five of them <laughs> in pink. You know, I just say to myself, I can picture what they're gonna be like. I've, you know, I've had Rocky for like six years, maybe. Maybe only like five. However old Frisbee is, Frisbee might have been the first Rocky litter. <laughs> you little peanut. Oh my God, she put it right in my hand. If you said that's, that would be a litmus test, it would, it would. It, 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 it could easily have just gone that way. I didn't do anything to bias it, it already had a bias. Are just, you know, it just accidentally stumbled on them, and that little noise just, it's perfect. It's, it is kind of insect like. I mean, if they see, I don't know, you know, wherever you guys live, if you live anywhere where there's any kind of buzzy bugs, especially German shepherds, but it's been my experience, if there's some buzzy bug on the ground. They go right over there, start seeing what it is. And that one chocolate lab, Jessica, if you're there, I, you, don't forget to tell Piper, he was obsessed with dragonflies. And he would start chasing them. And if you said where there's one dragonfly, there's more than one, there usually is. <laughs> That's where you get in your mind. All right, look, there you go. It was all by sound. Oh my God, just feeling cute. Computer was in there freaking out. It said, there's an error or something, turn it off, it has to restart or something. Like you said, what are you thinking? Mm. I'm just thinking it said earlier, uh, you have no more storage left on this computer. <laughs> said, How is that possible? Well, <laughs> too much content? Thank God for live, I mean, thank God for live. Facebook stores all your content. <laughs> you said, oh, I have no effing idea. I don't have any effing idea. Yeah, as much as possible, you're trying to get some kind of clean trajectory. That was the little fly lid in there. She gave the shake on. Whoops. Uh oh. You little painter. It's very exciting work. It really is. If you said, What's your. Again, I'm giving, you know, and I'm not trying to be some weird. You're, but I'm not acting frenetic at all. My physiological state is, no worries, no worries. Limitless chances for success. <laughs> and if you said you want to test them, I don't think you do. <laughs> You're training for the day the environment puts you to the test. You're training, here you go, Mike. This is my next Mimi. I'm sure, you know, I just pop, anybody says anything, these thoughts pop into my head. That's what that frenzy posting was this morning. You little peanut. The environment is out to throw a wrench in your training. 
You're training and training and training for the day the environment puts your training to the test. You know, testing and testing and testing. Whoops, uh oh. Oh, Buttercrunch must have gone to sleep. Oh, we've been playing since early this morning. I woke up at like 5.30, and I get up at like midnight, let all the dogs out. I woke up and I was like, oh, I've got to let all the dogs out. If you said then what? I realized I already did it. <laughs> I realized I already did it. If you said then what? I said, oh, thank God. All right, hang on. Let me see if I have this one laying down. Let me see which one that is. That's the boy. I saw this one dip its head down. It's just... Watch, he's gonna, he's gonna gladly gobble it up. She's too... Alright, we got enough for one more. So again, if you want it to be a dead object, you're just presenting a tray with the object in it. If you said, are you... I think you are, maybe, you know, I mean, you're getting to the point, you're, if you said they don't have plenty, they've got plenty of energy, they can add to it, you, by, you're just, honestly, to me, you're creating frenetic behavior by waving shit around, you are, it's, and then if it isn't waving around, they're not going to do it, you can ask any bird dog guy, there's such a thing as dog that won't pick up a dead object, if you said it was, uh oh, that was the same one. But the same thing worked again. Uh, he's rotten. Anyway, all right, let me go. I'm gonna jump in the shower and do a little bit of training. And I'll see you when you get here, Christine. And you're just gonna get your treats. I mean, really, your your best bet is really honestly to bake some chicken breast. That's what I've been using. The dog has got to say to itself, these people just get better and better. Not, they bought me, I better love them. They just don't think like that. They're just saying to themselves, what, if you're setting the handler up as an individual that once this individual appears, there's limitless opportunities for success. Doing what, who knows, anything. Be creative. Oh, they like a lot of things. I've never done a default down with them. It, it would have been harder if there was 10 of them. But if you said it, will it persist? Keep doing it. It's, it's not, not going to persist. If you said, what about if they were jumping up? If, if they were jumping and you just, every time you came in, puppy, 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 puppy. I love puppy. I can't even do it with a straight face. Maybe now, the second you stepped in here, biting, grabbing, biting your hands, using you as an adversarial figure, just like the brothers and sisters, they're adversarial. And these are not. You see, they don't do as much of that fighting and biting and stuff. It's very zen-like. It's all very zen-like. You know, and I, I remember, I mean, I, I think I had just... You know, when I had that dog Barkley, it, it was so hyper aware. You could go, it would do the Macarena. It was that hyper aware of your body language. If you went like that, it would fold its legs. If it only folded one leg and you went like that, it would fold the other one. You know, those kind of hinky dogs are more hyper aware. But that was after I had started doing the default down thing. But I do remember the original default down. Your hand was kind of just in your lap like that. But if you said, how could you make that better? Or obviously by going like this. You're always saying, how could I make that better? You could go like this. If you said, how can I make this better? Exhale through the nose. And if you said, if you get one on the thread of copying you, they need only to see what you're doing to copy. That's how it works on Pinterest. Nailed it. <laughs> no, it's not like, yeah, that's what it is. We're, we're doing nothing but copying. Copying and 
and sharing and being influenced by things outside, things in the environment. Just the way people get fooled, it's... I never realized it was that bad until Facebook. I read on the news. I am posting this so Facebook doesn't legally have any right to my photo. Facebook doesn't want your damn photos. Facebook sees you can't even take a decent picture. They don't want the whites to your fucking picture. And posting that is not protecting you legally. God, it's, it's just unbelievable. And STEM does hurt. And the pager is the same as your cell phone. Ay, 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 ay. You said, what's so disappointing? Get over myself right now. I just, it's hard for me to understand this. I just got so upset with that little this Larry Kern. You know, what are you seeing? You know, what are you seeing that you like? Oh, I'll show you this guy, Christine. No, I don't, I don't really want to say it like that with a bias. You watched enough of my videos. You were never exposed to this kind of training before. You have an open mind. I'm going to send you this guy's videos. You, as an intelligent, educated woman who has a familiarity with animals, sure, you're no trainer, but you're an American citizen, and you know what's going on around you, and I want to get your honest opinion on this guy's training and this guy in general. If you said, who is this guy? He's my arch enemy. He tells everybody, don't use the pager. It doesn't work. She's low skill. Yeah, that's what he calls me, Christine. If I'm low skill, Jesus, where's the high skill? If what I'm considered to this guy is low skill, then I call her. Whoops. My question is, whoops. Where are the high skill people? So if you said he's implying that he's the high skill people. Well, I'll let you be the judge of that, Christine. Oh my God, look at them all. O-M. There's one of them, isn't it? That's, you know, again, I told you I'd get them crate trained. So this is kind of what you need to do, girls. Cover your crate and all that. I mean, again, that's the little, you know, that's the little, that's the little slumber den. <laughs> if you said then they just play with that thing's face. <laughs> they do. They bite its face. They bite the face. They can tell lies. If you get, I've had young puppies. And, I, you know, you've, I've always had the big stuffed animals. But the ones that had like a real obvious face, they, they would bark at the face. They would bark at the face. They recognized it as a face. So they do recognize a face. Anyway, they're doing unbelievable. I'm super excited for you, girl. But I do want you to tell that story of what happened. If you said, this dog almost killed you with your kindness. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, people don't understand that. It's, it's pervasive. If you rescue a dog, it'll show you gratitude. I don't have any like that. Except for maybe Birdie. But he's done a few terrible things, too. Shoe bottom. Gratitude. She's out to get me. I just went in the garage. She got the garbage down. She got a garbage bag down before I could get it out to the road. She said, what else? Don't even make me list. If you said this week, this week, just this morning. And she's probably in there now doing something, stealing the puppy treats. Anyway, I got some chicken cut up for when you come, Christine. But if you said, unless she bottom ate it, yeah, that's how she shows gratitude, stealing everything, making my life a living hell. <laughs> if you said, stick her in a crate, she's not crate trained. She won't go in a crate. Uh oh, here we go. All right, listen, boys, bedtime. You see how I worked it, though, and you see how that would be their normal. You know, oh, that simulates the womb. Oh, they get to go back in the womb for safety. <laughs> That's what I need to tell people from now on. Oh, I don't believe a crate. Oh, what they've discovered is it's like the womb. You know how they always do that with people. Remember they said that like one, you know, like even back in the 70s, they had that, all that crazy psycho psychology. Uh, oh my God, you little sticker. Are you trying to get that? You little peanut. You 
are a little peanut. So bad. Where you would like wrap in a blanket and then like be reborn or something, or like go back to the womb and all this crap. That's what I'll tell people the crate is, because look. Oh, it's like being in the womb. Oh, it's safe and dark. And I purposely put that cover on there. I'm going to straighten that part of it. And, you know, the making it. Very dark like in the, you know, the bigger scheme. I mean, this is very bright. It's obviously going to gravitate towards this darker corner if they want to go to sleep. So, a little peanut. All right, listen, you guys. I'll see you when you get here, Christine. Drive carefully, girl, and text me when you're on the way, and then just wait in the car in case I have that bulldog out or something. If you said, what's my greatest fear? That I have that bulldog out, and then somebody comes and gets out of their car and starts walking in. <laughs> if you said, then what do I do? Where's that damn bulldog? Where's that bulldog? Where's that bulldog? It's usually right there, but... <laughs> if you said, well, that's what you have to be like when you got a bulldog. <laughs> as far as I know it is. Listen, you little peanut. I think that's the girl. I'm starting to be able to tell them apart a little bit more. If you said, even, yes, even from the back. This just a... Just a never supposed to play with that chest. Just no. Anyway, girl, you're going to get them some Nyla bones and stuff. That's what they're going to chew on. They're going to have the big toys for the sleeping. You know, you've got the other little, you know, they like to climb around, you know. And, but you're not going to, I used to give them a lot of little tiny toys to play with. Oh, you can look at my old videos. There's gazillions. If you say, you see how excessive I am with things? Ah, there'd be gazillions of toys in there. If you said, after I started doing the deliver to hand, I just kind of took that part away. And the other dogs would always steal the toys and eat them. It's honestly just a disaster. Um, but the toys are big and little peanut and Nyla bones. They've got all kind of puppy Nyla bones. And I didn't get the gift bags this year. I'm terrible. I really am. I got the bags. I just, time got away from me. I didn't even know what day Christmas was. Yikes. I did make it to the nursing home to visit my aunt, though. And took him a cake and a smoked turkey. And my Uncle Ralph said, oh, it's already cooked? I said, yes, yes. If I, and then I thought about it after I left. I said, God, I hope that didn't need to be cooked. I gotta look that up. I hope a smoked turkey is just ready to eat, not needs to be cooked. If he said, well, I, I said, just, oh, yes, you can make it right into sandwiches. Oh. I think it had instructions on there. And he, he probably knows. <laughs> you see how I am? Go with their head though. They're used to if you said that's play. It's a forced engagement. That one's look at them. That's what they do. Aww. I'll use you for my chew toy. If you said do you want do you want to be the recipient? Me want to be the recipient of that? Good God no. Good God no. Christine's just glued to the show. I mean, they do need to learn. If you said, what, what ends up happening ideally? The novelty, dogs that are adult, well-seasoned adult dogs have gone through the phase of the ridiculous playing and, and now the novelty has worn off and they're just not into that. Their internal dialogue is, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. No, I don't play that anymore. I got other things to do. If you said anything, looking around, <laughs> sniffing around, running around, swimming, whatever. I'm not going to focus my time being, you know, you see a lot of these adults I have. They're not engaging in all this. If you said, who's engaging in all the forced engagement? Adolescents. Look at any of these, like, you know, any of these nature documentaries. Oh, the young male lions are shunned from the herd or whatever. Now they're out there fighting amongst each other. I said, oh, the young male antelope, the young male this, that, and the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about a bunch of conflict. <laughs> you know, it's all a bunch of conflict in young adolescent animals, especially the males. You know, that's life skills that they're learning. Yeah, here's how to deal with conflict. Because <laughs> your life is going to be full of it. <laughs> full of conflict. You're going to have every other male out there trying to beat you down. And so you practice some jujitsu. Practice some jiu-jitsu. 
Cord's not working. Cable ties or duct tape is my backup plan. OMG! It's supposed to go like this. Okay, now I'll go. Uh -oh. Anyway, let me jump in the shower, but I'll just see you when you get here, girl. If you want to come a little early or whatever, just text me. But then just wait in the car, text me from the gate, and I will come out. If you said, do you come rushing out? Rushing out. Oh, no. Here, I'm going to need to get a sign. I'll get a sign. Please wait in your car for even Kelly just to even get out her front door is a major process. Please be patient. <laughs> Please understand the process this poor woman has to go through just to get out of her house. <laughs> if you said what? To make sure all the bad ones don't come out, like the French bulldog and all that. <laughs> to make sure the French bulldog. There's another guy. He doesn't like strangers. You know, it's management. You know, if I just kept letting that French bulldog around a bunch of strangers, I would keep having problems like the old owner did. If he said, I just have to make sure and keep them put up. And, you know, I could have them around certain people that were dog savvy. If I said, just ignore the dog or whatever, he's not going to do anything. But if somebody was like, oh, it's so cute, starts reaching for its face. If he said, what is it? Say, oh, pet me. No. <laughs> They're mean. They're mean. Oh, you little peanuts. Look, now they all worn off. All right, listen, your mother's coming. You've got to take a nap. You've got to be a very good boy. Anyway, it's, I'm, I'm now, I'm now tasking myself with doing a default down with all of them. But it's, it's, and they've only got certain, you've got to say to yourself, they've only got a certain number of behaviors. They can walk, they can run, they can jump, they can bark. They can pick things up. Okay. If I shape those into certain things, there won't be a lot of room left for other things. You know, if I take everything that they already know how to do, if I take the running, I may utilize that into a recall. I take the jumping, I keep jumping on the platform. Uh, the barking, you really don't want that. But uh, you're, you're just, you know, if they lay down all the time, I'll, I'll get them to copy me. And when I'm sitting at my computer, they'll begin to lay down beside me. If you said, well, not like shoe bottom. So like I'm distracted. She's gone. She never had a default down. If you said, what did she have? Three homes by the time she was eight months old. And they just all excuse her. Oh, she's deaf. She's deaf. It's nothing to do with deaf. I don't even think about her as being deaf. You know, it's nothing to do with her being deaf. It's something to do with her being rotten. <laughs> Just boxers are intractable. I mean, they are. They don't like to get trained. They want to do what they want to do. All the time. Anyway, all right, I'm jumping in the shower and I'll be back right properly.